Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my videos. Uh, in this video today I'm actually going to be showing you how to upgrade the uh, bow to the electric bow in the Ryzen Jog. So what I'm going to be doing is I've gone back over a game uh, that I did with two of my other friends and we upgraded all the bows inside this game um, and in theatre mode I've gone back and got the whole upgrading process of how I did it and all the different things that you need to do for the upgrading process uh, and in theatre mode I decided to use it because I could get different angles and things of what I was doing uh, while I was doing the process and you can also see a few things that you don't normally get to see in the game if you go into theatre mode uh, which makes it easier to see so um, I've done this for all the bows but obviously in this tutorial specifically I'm going to be focusing on the electric bow or the lightning bow whatever you want to call it I'm going to call it the uh, electric bow anyway um, so yeah basically I'm going to be playing different points I'm going to be stopping and um, starting this uh, clip this is all mine this clip all uh, edited and put together of my gameplay of me upgrading the bow in this case because I was the one that did this bow okay so to start off um, you do have to have the bow for this obviously if you don't know how to get the bow I will very soon probably after um, this video have the video on how to actually get uh, the bows in the first place and uh, that will be a separate video that will show you how to get the bow and all the steps you need to take to get it um, so yes I'm not going to explain how to do that in this video that is in another video of mine uh, or you can find it anywhere else I'm sure online or on YouTube uh, if you really want to look at it straight away um, but I'm going to presume that you already have the bow at this point so if you are going to do the lightning one which is what you're here for then once you have the bow, you need to head up to the middle of the map uh, where you see the weather vane. There is this weather vane, as you can see on screen right now, up top. Um, it will have a dragon on it, and you can see in the middle. Uh, I'm actually even going to use my mouse to point this out to you because obviously I'm going to point out different bits. Uh, in the middle here, you can see this arrow. It's sort of bluey and purpley like. That is the lightning bow arrow, and that is where we start. So basically, all you have to do is come up here and shoot an arrow at that weather vane. Make sure it hits the weather vane, and then the arrow will fall down, as you will be able to see here. And here we go. Uh, the wall will break, and there's the arrow. And then also, I've looked at it from a different view of me picking it up there. Uh, once you've done that, you're then going to be moving on to shooting these little bonfires. Uh, there are three of them all across the map. Uh, the first one you're about to see here. So all you have to do is just walk up to the wall or wherever the bonfire is located. I will tell you where they are and specifically how to hit them. Um, and basically just charge an arrow up and shoot it at the bonfire. So here's the first location. As you can see over the wall, down here uh, on this little wall part there, uh, there's a little bonfire bit there that you need to shoot. It's like a signal flare in those times. Uh, and basically just charge your bow up. Make sure you charge the bow up. Don't try and shoot just with a normal shot because you will miss, I guarantee it. You may hit this bonfire, but you're not going to hit the other ones. Um, so charge your bow up and try and aim in the same way as that I do in this because uh, these will give you the precise hits so here we go charging up this one you normally just aim a tiny bit above almost in the middle of that mountain behind it and once you hit it you will see that the bomb the bonfire will actually light up and um, well become a bonfire now uh, and as I go along here I was just show you guys a bit of what the um, fire or earth uh, bow looks like as my other friend was doing that right moving on to the second bonfire if you go all the way over to the other side of the wall uh, this is down by double tap so if you go past double tap 
coming through the main gates, you will go to the very end where you normally buy the shotgun and you can see all the other parts over here are floating in the air. And if you look over here in the distance, you'll be able to see it in a minute. You won't be able to see it yet because obviously the arrow and that are in the way. But there's a bonfire just about here, um, sorry, down here, um, that you need to hit. It's a long way away, this one, and this one is probably the hardest one to hit. Uh, luckily here, I've actually hit it on the first go, which was uh, extremely lucky. Uh, some people are very good at hitting this in the first try, some people have a lot of trouble. Hopefully in this video I could give you a precise spot of where to aim in order to actually hit the bonfires and make your lives a lot easier. So in this case for this one, I found that if you always try and aim literally where it is right now, so that's, um, if you look at the bottom of these lights, it's almost a quarter of the way on both of these lights. Obviously I know these lights move. So it makes it a little bit more challenging to figure out precisely where a quarter is. But normally, just just a tiny bit above this little mountain over here can also help you out. Uh, and try and line up with that mountain to start with if you find the lights are moving around too much and you can't do it that way. And then just move up the tiniest amount that you can and you will then um, get the shot and hit the bonfire. But like I said, you can always do it from these uh, signal lights and just go a quarter of the way up almost and uh, you should hit it. So here we go. As you can see, there's the bonfire down there. And then the last bonfire, you need to make sure you've opened up down to the rocket site. Um, and if you come over to the uh, rocket and look to the right, this is where the teddy bear would normally be inside the truck for the music easter egg. Or, or if you um, know about the landing pad, which is just to the right of me here, uh, then you just look to your right and up on these hills you will see the bonfire up there. Uh, it's just literally on this side of the wall by the trees down here. You can see it here, which I'm pointing at. This one is not the easiest one to hit. Um, but obviously some people are very good at hitting these, some people have a lot of trouble. Uh, this one's definitely not the easiest one in the world to hit, but it's a lot easier than the previous one. Now, uh, you can see where I'm aiming here. This one's not as easy to sort of give you an advice of where to aim for. It entirely depends on where you stand and shoot for this one. Uh, you can shoot over here on the left by the staircase uh, where the rocket actually is and where you go um, and fling yourself up to the castle. Or you can stand where I stand whenever I do this, which is over by these wheelbarrows and the landing pad. I prefer to stand here purely because I have a straight on view angle of the bonfire and it's really close to me and simple to get to. But um, if you shoot from where I am, the best advice I can give you for this at all uh, in regards to getting it to hit is to try and stand at the back bit of the wheelbarrows. You'll notice that there will be wheelbarrows. You won't see it, I don't think, in this video. You might do. Uh, but there are wheelbarrows down at the bottom. If you're playing to rise and drag, you will see them. Stand literally at the very back of the wheelbarrow uh, and you'll be in the precise spot that I'm standing right here. Uh, aim your bow up. And you can see here that this is basically the top of the mountain. Try and line up with that and then just drop ever so slightly down. So it's very slight again, just like the previous one. And try and aim it obviously above the bonfire and then you should be good to go and actually hit it on first try. Uh, I'm also going to give you some advice while I'm here for the other side if you do it from the staircase um, by the rocket and the flinger. Um, stand on top of the staircase if you're going to do it from there. Don't do it at the bottom of the staircase, it's not a good spot. Stand on top of the staircase and then what you will need to do is, because it's further away, uh, but it's higher up, you want to try and aim, if you're over there, uh, make sure again you're lined up with this obviously, but try and aim at the height of these trees over here, um, which is about there almost over here on these trees. Try and line up like that, 
Um, just look at these trees, to be honest. They'll give you the lineup you need. And then um, go over to the bonfire again, shoot, and you should hit it. If not, then aim a tad bit higher and you'll eventually get it. But I advise you very strongly to do it from the spot where I'm standing. Anyway, so I'll show you this. As you can see, there is a hit. So I thought at the end here I would just show you what it looks like when you actually hit the bonfires. Um, I'm going to do this for each step, by the way, show you what it looks like when you do certain things for the bows. And this bow in particular, I'm going to be showing you what happens, obviously, uh, when you do certain steps. So in this case for this, I'm showing you what the bonfire looks like, and you'll see the other steps later on. But anyway, this is what a bonfire looks like once you hit it, so you will know that you've hit it because it lights up and goes all orange as it would do if it's on fire because it's the signal flare and so on. Um, but that's what it looks like, so you will know that you've done it correctly. And then once you've done all three of them, you will notice this little counter up here, or in my case it's ripped often, but it could be a different character for you. Uh, but you will notice that this little white circle here will move along and show you how much progress you made on your bow. Um, so now we are down here for this bit. But what I will say is, uh, this top bit up here was a bit earlier where I got the arrow out of the wall. So, yeah, be aware of that as well. So, this next step here is um, a step where you need to wall run along the wall. And what you will be doing is you're going to be wall running... Um, in the ritual area, if you don't know what the ritual area is, it's the uh, place where you fill up the third dragon head um, and also where you open the room to the teleporter, but it's also where you collect, um, well, you can basically build the bows in this room and um, there's statues of the gatekeepers in here and so on. I call it the ritual room. I don't know if it actually has any other room in particular uh, name for it. I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's known as a pyramid room to some people, as there is a pyramid in here, but um, I'm going to call it the ritual room because that's what I think it should be called. Uh, anyway, what you need to do for this second part is you need to wall run all the way around on the outside walls, never go on the inside ones. You will see when I unpause it in a second. Um, you just need to wall run, try and uh, aim for the top parts of the walls because that's the symbols that you're going to be hitting and I'll show you a clear symbol um, in a minute but basically you need to all run and you're going to hit five of these symbols in total uh, once you hit all five of these then you can move on to the next step but anyway I will show you what I do here so as you can see I will run and I try and stay as high up as I possibly can that is the symbol that you're looking for right there on the wall as you can see it's very high up you need to stay high up to hit these. You can wall run along here and still touch it, but I advise you to stay as high up as you can. It will make your life a lot easier. Try and not lose your balance on the wall as well. I will say this now, that if you wall run and hit a few of them, but you actually fall off the wall, uh, it will reset it and you will need to do it all over again and you will need to wall run on the ones you already wall run on uh, and re-hit all the symbols again. So you need to do it where you hit all five symbols in total. Um, but yes, there are five total symbols. Here's the first one. When you run over it, it'll make a noise, as you can see, and light up. Uh, the next one is actually... Hang on, I'll see if I can get a better view. There we go. Here's the next one right here, as you can see. Uh, there was another one back there as well, which you might have heard when I wall runned over it, but um, you didn't get to see it, unfortunately. Uh, but there's one here as well. And then there's another one in here, as you can see right there. And then me wall running again on the side. And the last one is right there. And I also managed to have my friend wall run at the same time, and he nearly knocked me off which really didn't help in my case. Um, but anyway, nothing happened, so it was all good. But uh, that's what you need to do, of course. And yes, as long as you hit all five of those symbols in one, one, there, in one wall run, then you will be okay and uh, you will be ready to move on to the next step. And like I said before, uh, with the other steps, 
you will see this counter pop up once you've completed it and it will show you that you've uh, done another part of the step. Uh, so you ready to move on to the next step. So the next step, you're going to be charging these little electric pods um, thingies. Um, and basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be turning these things on as in theory that's what you're doing. But you're going to be um, killing zombies near these things to um, give it souls. It needs souls or energy if you like to uh, charge up and give you the ability to use electric when you charge your bow to shoot at the bonfires again. Um, this will make more sense in a minute. But basically the first place that you need to go to, you can do this in any order by the way, uh, same with the bonfires too, you can do them in any order, but um, I'm showing you in this order because it's the way I did it uh, and the way I normally do it. And so for the first room you need to go back outside from the comms room um, the comms room is where speaker is, if you didn't know. Uh, run outside, run up the staircase, and then turn to your right and keep going right through here into this room. And this room is uh, one of the room spots where you can get the uh, zombie shield part, and you can also start the fire arrow thingy up top uh, if you went up the stairs. But the little electric um, thing, electric... I don't know really what to call the thing. I don't know, electric battery or something. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's behind me here and you'll probably see it when I'm killing some zombie cells. But I'm going to show you what happens when you kill zombies in this room uh, near the um, electric thingy. Make sure that you kill the zombies near it. If you don't kill the zombies near it, then uh, the cells will not go into it and it will not count. Um, you should only have to kill five for each one of these. There are three of these in total that you need to do, as there are three bonfires that you're going to be shooting at afterwards. But, um, yeah, it's very simple to do this, so don't feel worried at all. You don't have to use the bow either. You can use another gun or a weapon or a knife. Uh, you can use anything you want. Um, I chose to use the bow because I thought I might as well. I had no reason not to. But you can use any weapon that you want. Anyway, so this is the first room, and this is what happens when you kill them. You can see that electric glow goes into the little electric um, thingy. Uh, yep, there you go. There's the electric glow thingies, and yep, that was it. Uh, so that was five in total that I killed, and all the electric um, energy went into them. I'm going to have to call these electric things something important. But anyway, that's what the electric thing looks like. I'll get a clearer picture of it in a second for you. But those are the little pod things. Actually, electric pod. We'll call it electric pod. Um, the electric pods, this is uh, what it looks like. And you're going to get a much clearer picture when I get to the last one because I actually go out and fill some modes and show you what they look like properly uh, down below. But um, I thought I'd show you it really quickly here anyway, so you guys had an idea of what you're trying to shoot at and, you know, um, fill up souls with. Anyway, um, this is in the room just above Double Tap. And if you don't know where that is, um, when you leave the starting area, if you go to your right, so you'll be heading up top. Um, you'll see Double Tap, and then you go past that and open the big gate up. And if you then go through that gate, turn left and go up the staircase, keep going up, um, keep going straight um, left, and then eventually you'll get to the landing pad area. And then if you want, turn the landing pad on, of course. And then turn right, and then you'll head into this room here, which you're seeing right now. And um, yeah, this is what you need to charge up. And basically... Just make sure you stay near it, that's the way I see it, and look at it, and then just kill zombies near it. And as you can see, I'm filling it up with um, energy, cells. <laughs> so in my case here, I actually stabbed the zombies because we had an instant kill on at the time, which was very helpful. Um, be careful in this room, though. I will stress that you must be careful in this room, um, because that room... You can have zombies spawning in all areas of you. 
and uh, where you stand there it's quite dangerous um, so be careful I really advise you to have the zombie shield at that point uh, especially if you're doing this at a higher round as it can be extremely dangerous and you don't particularly want to go down while you're doing this um, because it's not great and <laughs> not really worth it right anyway the last one of these electric pods is down by the rocket site as you can see the rocket over there so in this case instead of going outside like we've been earlier you're actually going to stay inside the teleporting area and down here behind this little generator thingy you will see the electric pod and i'm going to shoot zombies near it you can see it there and in a minute or two i will actually be zooming out here we go and um, showing you a proper look at this so this is what they really look like just an actual decent image of what it looks like rather than the blurry one that you see because of me pausing a video and that and this is what they look like just in case you wanted to know and you were very confused about um, what you're actually trying to fill up and what you're trying to shoot and stuff so this is what they look like this is the electric that will be blasting out of them and when you kill them you saw uh, the soul will just float inside it but anyway that's what they look like so there's a little view of it for you I didn't really know why the electric went insane when I went close up to that but there you go um, and then just keep killing souls around it and that's what I do here for the rest of this again you should only have to kill five for each one there shouldn't be any more than five um, so yeah if you kill five then that's fine just obviously keep an eye on the zombies that you have because you don't want to overdo it and find that you um, are getting surrounded and things so if you need to kill a lot of zombies don't feel that you don't have to kill them um, if you really need to anyway so for this next part you're going to need to charge your bow next to these little electric pods and it's very simple all you have to do is make sure you have ammo on this bow obviously or else this isn't going to work especially as the normal bow shoots out two shots if you charge it up so try and not miss these uh, bonfires that you're going to be shooting at again you're going to see my tips from before and you should you know look at the tips from earlier on in the video that um, told you how to shoot at these bonfires um, but anyway all you have to do is walk up to these little electric pods uh, charge your bow up literally right next to them and your arrow will start producing some electricity out of the end of it as you're going to see here when I charge it up there we go and then for this uh, bonfire which you did see earlier on in the video but I will say it again uh, this is the rocket site version um, you need to just walk out of these hangar doors as you can see here there's the landing pad and then right up there is the bonfire that we shot earlier <coughs> it should still be on fire from before when you shot it and um, basically you need to shoot this arrow onto that bonfire and what it will do is it will produce some electricity that will swirl around the bonfire like that um, and if you see electricity going around these bonfires then that means you've done this correctly and you managed to hit it if you don't see any electricity going around this bonfire and you thought you might have hit it you haven't hit it it has to have electricity going around it and if it doesn't have any around it then you haven't hit it and you need to do it again just bear in mind that you do use two arrows for the normal bow every time you charge it up so try and get this on the first or second attempt as you don't want to go wasting a lot of ammo anyway so this is again what I do from before shooting the arrow and I hit it and that's what it looks like like I was saying you get the swirl of electricity around the bonfire uh, this is what it looks like when it goes around a bonfire you're going to see a much clearer picture of that later on in the video when I get to the third bonfire and do this um, because I go out of the theater mode first person and you know look around but anyway that's the first bonfire that we've done in this case we then moved to this location from before which was above double tap as you all remember um, again walk up to the little electric pod hold and charge your arrow and then you can choose two locations for this one in order to uh, hit this bonfire you can either go to this window at the side here which is what I do in this case or you can do what we did earlier which was go down 
um, pass double tap through uh, through the gate, pass double tap, and down where the shotgun is that you can buy off the little like carriage thingy, um, and shoot over the wall there and do it. The only reason why I would say that it's better to shoot from the window at this point is um, you're right next to the electric thing, and if you miss a shot and you go all the way down to the bottom with this charged arrow and miss the shot. You're going to have to repeat that process again, and it's going to take a lot longer to do because you have to run back up here, charge your shot again, and go all the way back down. Bear in mind, when you charge a shot, you can't sprint. So you will be walking all the way and jumping to make yourself go faster. But yes, I advise you to shoot from this window, and I will go through what the best spot is to shoot when you look at this window in a second. So charge your bow up, come over to this window like I do, and as you can see, it's not as easy to see out of this window for this bit, but you can see just in the distance there, unfortunately the bow does cover this up quite a lot, so it makes it harder to see, but the bonfire is actually down here somewhere. Um, it's me aiming a lot higher at this point, because you need to aim high for this one or else you're going to miss it. So you remember earlier that I was going on about that mountain that you should line it up like that? Well, in this case, you're going to be aiming a little higher um, and you will eventually hit the bonfire and you will see me hit it in a minute. So from this window, I advise you to really try and aim. I actually don't look at the mountain when I go from this window. Uh, I mean, the mountain was pretty good. To be fair, it was pretty close to it. But I normally aim for just about a little bit above the orange smoke where this black line is sort of around here. Um, it's basically the very beginning of the actual black smoke bar. Um, if you aim at that and you're just above the bonfire, you're going to hit it. Um, aim at the orange bit here, you might just clip it. Uh, if you aim up here, then you're not going to hit it. And if you aim too far down here, then obviously you're not going to hit it either. So try and aim just about here. You'll see there's a line there like that. Try and aim like that. Basically the top of the black smoke, just a little bit in. And as you can see, I hit the uh, bonfire and it went to show electricity. So finally, for the last one, we're going back up here into this room where you uh, collect that shield part. Uh, that I was talking about earlier. Walk up to the electric thingy, charge your arrow, go back over here to where you see um, this bonfire over here, over on the wall, um, which was the first one we did at the beginning of the video. This one's very easy to hit. Just aim ever so slightly up, and you're going to hit it, as you can see I do here. And once you've done that, you will get the little picture of your character with their bow, uh, showing up top there, telling you that you've done the step and um, have completed it, and you can move on to the next step. Right, so before we do do that, uh, this is the moment where I went into the free cam and showed you uh, now what it looks like to actually see these bonfires with electricity going around them. So this one was the closest bonfire, and it was easy for me to do. So I thought I would just generally show you what it looks like, and that is literally what it looks like. Uh, it looks pretty cool, it has to be said. But anyway, uh, we'll be moving on to the next step in a second. Here we go. So the next step, um, once you've done all that, is you need to go back up to that weather vane that you saw earlier. And you're going to see this um, weather vane is now covered in fire and electricity. And it will look absolutely insane. You'll be thinking, what the hell is going on? <laughs> but anyway... Don't worry about that for the minute, but you will also see if you look at the floor where you originally collected your arrow, which came out of the wall, this electricity on the floor, as you can see here. Basically, just walk up to that and interact with it. So, obviously, whatever interaction button you're using, because it depends what console you're using, so that would be X, square, and F. Um, just press it on the lightning down below, and lightning will slowly float up in the air. And this is where I go into um, the free camera just to show you a bit more. And the lightning will fly up to this um, weather vane where you can see right now uh, all the fire and lightning going on. And it will basically see um, the arrows up there and it will drop the arrow down. 
And then once it drops the arrow down, run and collect it. And as you can see, I collected the arrow there, and then it will come up with this little portrait of your character again, uh, telling you if you've done the step correctly or not. And once you have done this, and you've actually collected the arrow, and you've gone through all the steps we've just gone through, you're going to see that the arrow is now straight for a starter, but also all of the white circle will be complete now. There will be no gaps. It will be a complete white circle. But we're not done just yet. There is still one last thing to do before you can get your lightning upgraded bow. So you need to head back down to the ritual area, which is the place with the pyramid again, if you don't remember, and the statues of the gatekeepers. And uh, you'll see these little um, stools that you can place bows on. Now, each stool, um, it's easy for me to show you this one, actually. Each stool has its own little symbol on it to indicate which bow goes where. So, as you can see over there with that one, there's two pictures of wolves, and that is for the wolf bow. But, obviously, we're not doing the wolf bow, we're doing the lightning bow. Um, but if you come down the stairs from the comms room, uh, and you keep going straight out here. Basically, you just come to the right, and you'll see here this little stool right here. Uh, the right stool is the one that you want, which we're going to be placing our bow in here. And I couldn't really show you it very well there. Uh, I might go back and see if I can. <laughs> Not really, but there's a little lightning symbol there. Um, which you see on the box, which indicates that that's where the lightning bow goes. But yeah, basically just put your arrow or walk up to it and interact with it and it will put your arrow inside there, um, floating. So interaction button, obviously F, uh, X or square, depending what console or whatever you're on. Um, and your arrow will be floating here and you'll see this blue like mist everywhere. And as soon as you place this arrow in here, by the way, you will get a max ammo. As you can see, I've got one there. This is the same for every bow that you do for an upgrade. So anyway, once you do that, you need to kill zombies around this box. And it's just like before with the little uh, lightning things. You're going to get some souls being sucked into this. As you can see, I've got a little view here of me killing zombies and these soul balls going inside it. So this will take you a little while, especially depending what round you're on. If you're on lower rounds, this will take you a very long time. If you're on higher rounds, and by higher rounds for this, I'm saying probably 20 or above, um, you'll probably get this done in that one round. You might get it done uh, in two if you don't get it in one. Um, but yes, just keep kidding, and eventually... Uh, I show me killing all the zombies here just to give you a rough idea of how many zombies you actually do need to kill. Um, but eventually, <laughs> it will charge up and you'll be able to tell when it's charged up. As you can see, it's charged up. The arrow will go down into the box. This weird, massive ball of lightning will come out. And your bow will come out of it as well. And all you have to do is run up, pick up the bow. And uh, I didn't even manage to keep up with that. Uh, but yes, you will be able to pick up the bow and pretty much, let me go back, come on, go back, oh, much further back is it, uh, there we go, oh, just missed it, right, hang on, bear with me guys, right, there we go, <laughs> so once you get the bow and pick it up from the box, uh, you will see the symbol again that you uh, have for your character on your progress for the bow, and once you picked up that bow and charged it all up and everything, you have your lightning bow and you have completed this tutorial and got what you needed. And your little symbol will come up like this. You'll have the arrow again straight. And um, the white will now, instead of being little bits, will become a round circle of just pure white. And you'll get a little mini tornado with a lightning bolt in there, um, which indicates that you've done it and you've upgraded your bow. Um, and that's basically a tutorial on how to upgrade the lightning bow. It's a very easy bow to upgrade. Probably one of the easiest ones to do. I would say the easiest one is definitely the wolf bow by a long way. But um, this one's probably the second easiest one to do. Uh, but what I also wanted to show you is what the bow just generally looks like. Once you get it, in case people have never seen that. 
this is what the lightning bow looks like. It looks pretty cool and uh, it does have a lot of interactivity with it. So the little rocks at the front here will be spinning around and everything, which looks really sweet. And uh, you've got the electric arrow, of course, and um, it's all blue and everything now. And it's very cool. Now, um, when you shoot a light arrow without charging it, it's going to basically kill an awful lot of zombies. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It kills a lot of zombies, even though you haven't charged it. It's very powerful. It does a lot of damage. Um, but when you charge it, which I'm going to be showing you in a minute, uh, it is extremely powerful. This this bow, when you charge it up, is just ridiculous how much damage and stuff it can do. So if you're trying to do an Easter egg or something, and you're trying to get someone to save zombies, make sure if they have this bow out that they don't go and charge it up while they're killing a load of zombies because they will kill every single one. There will not be one zombie left in that room with them. They'll be dead. Um, also, in case you didn't know, this bow against a Panzer Solar is amazing. Literally, if a Panzer Solar spawns in, charge this bow, shoot it at its face. It's going to get um, stuck up in the air, flying around, not being able to do anything because obviously it's in the air and not on the ground. Um, it won't be able to attack you or anything. Once it's like that, just um, shoot one bullet, in my opinion. This is where you should do it. Shoot one bullet at its head constantly and eventually it will blow up and die. Um, or you could just charge another shot and just keep doing this. But if you're going to kill Pansol, that's with um, upgraded bows, I really advise you to use this one, the electric bow. It is probably the best bow in the game in my eyes and it's also the best one for killing Panzer Soldat. It's also the best one for killing the boss in the boss fight at the um, end of the Easter egg. So I really advise you to get this bow. Um, anyway, this is what happens when you charge up the bow and this is basically me going into the fair person to show you. Um, so one thing before I do go through that, when you charge up a bow when it's upgraded to whatever it is, so in this case electric, but it could be wolf or any of those, um, you instead of using two shots, are only going to be using one shot now, uh, so you won't burn through ammo nearly as quickly as you would with the normal bow. But anyway, moving on to what actually happens when you charge up the bow. When you charge up the bow, this uh, electric storm here, as you can see, will come out and actually here you can see that I was coming along to revive my friend um, George Lawson uh, Brown Crimson if you've seen some of my other videos in the past I've done with him um, yeah basically uh, he went down with his bow when he was trying to do it and um, the main point I'm getting across here is that there were a load of zombies around me they're all dead now pretty much but there were a load around me attacking me and all I did was literally just charge one shot, shoot it at the floor. I didn't even shoot it at a zombie, just shot it at the floor, killed every single zombie in sight. As you can see, there's one body there basically dying, and there's another one sort of blowing up in the background. But all the other ones that were there are dead and have disappeared. But if you need to revive one of your friends in that, this is the best way to do it. Charge up the lightning bow, shoot it at the floor. You could even shoot it down twice if you want, twice the effect if you're slightly worried. Not a single zombie will be able to get you and attack you while you're doing this. It's literally not possible. They will just die. <laughs> um, a panzer cell that, a little different, but obviously, like I said before, if you shoot it in the head or whatever, it will be flying up in the air. So do that and then revive your friend and you'll have enough time. Um, but anyway, that's what it looks like. And it will literally kill every zombie in this area. And it's a very, very wide area i mean that window there where they spawn in they'll die literally right there <laughs> inside it is a very wide area effect and it does do a lot of damage um but yes it's obviously a good tip here like i was saying for reviving someone shoot it at the floor um if there are a lot of zombies around you'll be able to get that person up very quickly and as you can see it moves around as well the lightning effect it will move around the map like this it only lasts a certain amount of time obviously like that um, but it will move around and it will obviously kill a load of zombies that are around. And yeah, that was it for the uh, lightning effects. And I just thought I'd show that off. And that also, before I finish it all, 
is a normal shot effect if you just shoot once without charging that is what it will look like a little ball of lightning there uh, which like I said is extremely powerful and will actually kill a lot of zombies anyway so yeah they're both very good like I said I recommend this bow over all the other bows it is definitely the best bow to get the best one to use and just in general it's really easy to actually get through the process of upgrading it Obviously, like I said, the wolf one is a lot easier, and when I put up the tutorial for that bow, you're going to notice how much easier it is than any other bow. But um, this one is definitely the second easiest one to get. It doesn't take you that long to get, and it just generally lasts an awfully long time and is the best bow out of all of them, in my opinion. Obviously, certain people have different opinions, but... In my case, I'm saying that this is definitely the best bow. Um, it's probably the most fun to use as well. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this tutorial um, of me showing you how to upgrade the electric bow. I hope you managed to stick through this tutorial and uh, found it useful. I was trying to do the tutorial for well, all the bows, because um, I have actually done the other tutorials as well. But... Uh, in the case of this one um, and also the others too I wanted to go through each step in quite a lot of depth and show you obviously the effects of the bow um, afterwards and how good they are and what they're useful for and go through all these different things I tried to get everything that I possibly could every aspect of this tutorial um, and also the other bow tutorials down in these tutorials as I could um, I wanted to go through each step, obviously, in thorough depth, as much as I possibly could get from my gameplay and things. And I obviously also went out and looked around at different um, parts that you obviously uh, either interact with or shoot at and things like that, and made sure that you guys got a good look at what they are, um, so you know what you're shooting at and things like that. Um, so I hope I went in enough depth for you guys throughout this tutorial and um, just in general I really hope that this helped out a lot I did spend an awfully long time putting together these uh, bow tutorials and obviously when they come out in the next few days with this one being the first one coming out um, I hope it's really making a difference for you so I really hope this was useful to everyone and if you don't understand anything at all because I obviously might have not gone into certain bits in enough depth, and I understand that, and I appreciate that, um, then don't be afraid to leave a comment asking a question about how to do a certain step. I will help you out. I will very happily help you out um, to the best of my abilities. And, um, yeah, I will do that for all of the bows, obviously, if you have a question. So don't feel it's just this one. It will be for all of them. <laughs> and, yeah, I hope... Um, you guys enjoyed this video if you came to just watch the video um, otherwise um, if you guys could please leave a like on this video I really appreciate it especially after all the editing and things that I've done for this video and mucking around with it in different areas and points and uh, just in general trying to help you guys as much as I possibly can uh, so if you could leave a like I really appreciate that obviously I'm not forcing you to that's entirely up to you um, also if you're new and you <laughs> haven't really heard of my channel and things like that then uh, feel free to check out my channel I'd really appreciate it if you did obviously and I do lots of different videos I do focus an awful lot on zombies now um, and it is probably one of the things that I really enjoy and love doing on my channel in particular but I do do other videos as well of the other Call of Duties and also other games like the Star Wars Republic Commando, Knights of the Old Republic and other things like that. Um, but I do do a lot of different videos and put them up on my channel. So feel free to go and check those out and I hope that you will like those videos as well. Um, and yeah, if you want to subscribe, I really appreciate that. I will say right now in this video, I... I have to say thank you so much to everyone that subscribed recently. Uh, it's absolutely amazed me the amount of subscribers I've just literally received in the last month. It's really, really increased at a rapid rate. 
and um, I really can't thank you enough for it. I guess I'm doing a lot of things right, and uh, I appreciate every single person that subscribed. So thank you very much, um, and I hope you stick with me. <laughs> uh, also, I have another channel as well now. Um, I'll explain this in this part, obviously, a little uh, more in depth. But basically, I have another channel which is specifically for the Batman Arkham games and also any other Batman games that I might go and play and um, put videos on for that. Um, if you go on to my general channel, obviously, there is actually a little link for that channel up the top in the um, channel art area. It's called the Batman Arkham World. It's basically a channel that I've designed which is specifically for the Arkham games, like I said. But what I do is I go and play all the story um, and show you that, get you all the endings that you could possibly get from certain games um, and all that. Uh, Riddler trophies and going through those in a lot of depth, uh, the challenges and stuff like that, Predator things as well. And I'm going through this for all four of the games. Um, I'm not counting Arkham Origins Black Gate as um, a game in particular that's Arkham related, but it is a Batman game, so it still counts as that, but I'm not counting it specifically as an Arkham game. Um, but for the other four, which are the main ones, I am putting videos up for those. Uh, I'm trying to do it as regularly as I can. Obviously, bear in mind that I've only just started doing it and uh, only just built the channel. So you're going to have to give me a little bit of time to obviously get the content onto that channel. But it is going up at a steady pace and um, I'm pretty pleased with the rate that it's going up on. Um, but I'm trying to get every single aspect that I possibly can for the Arkham games. So every single one of them. So I want to get all the like story clips, all the end game cutscenes, um, the challenges done. Also, like the game over scenes that you see, the Rillo Trophy is covered in a lot of depth, um, and just literally everything, like I said, Arkham related will be in there. And I will also, um, once I've done certain things for the channel and I eventually get it uh, a bit more full, I will do some actual tutorial videos on how to be uh, pretty good at the combat in the game and how to use the combat to your uh, like needs and things like that and basically just trying to help you out as much as possible when it comes to playing the Arkham games um, I don't know why when it comes to playing Batman Arkham games I seem to be very good with the combat and I just seem to be able to do it and get on with it and not have much trouble certain days I might have trouble just because it's one of those bad days. Everyone has a bad day every once in a while on a game. But normally, I'm alright at it, and actually I do very well with the combat on it, and um, I find it quite easy to do the combat. Uh, predator things, also, I'm pretty good at, and can show you a lot for those too. Uh, but yes, I am going to go through tutorials on how to really be good at combat in the Arkham games, and how to improve if you're struggling, um, and also just in general what I actually did to become quite good at the combat and the predator things in the Arkham games uh, over the course of time that the Arkham games have come out. Obviously I have developed my skills over each game so I can basically uh, teach you the skills that I learned to hopefully help everyone else out that likes to do that. Um, and yes, I really hope that I can help you out with that. But yes, if you like the Batman Arkham games and the Arkham franchise in general, and also other Batman games, like I said, um, then head on over to that channel and check it out um, and watch um, my videos, basically. Now, what I will say for that channel is I'm not going to ever speak on that channel or not do anything like I'm doing here where I go through uh, a speaking tutorial. And I'm specifically saying that for most of the videos, with the exception of obviously the tutorial videos for the combat and predator things and also possibly the Riddler trophy things as well um, but otherwise other videos I will not talk in so like my challenges where I actually just play the challenge and show you what I do in the challenges and things uh, and the story and stuff as well I will not be speaking in 
um, because I don't think it's the right thing to do speaking in those. It's also for me in a challenge in predator mode quite actually distracting to me if I start speaking and things while um, actually doing the challenges um, it normally screws me up so uh, I prefer to just generally focus on the challenge and focus on what I'm doing. Uh, I'm sure most people would appreciate that it's just the way I uh, play the games. Um, so yes, I will speak at points, but I'm not going to speak loads of the Z in them. Uh, but otherwise, if you want to check that out, then feel free to. Like I said, in my main channel's uh, channel art bit, if you go to my homepage, there's a link to it in the um, top bit there where I have my links to all my other little web pages. And you can head on over to that. I will also leave a link to... Uh, that channel in the bottom description of this video so you can go check it out. So what I will say though is it's not got too much on it yet but bear in mind like I said it's only just been made, it's only just started, only just begun. I have got a lot of Arkham Asylum on there at the moment. I've got all the story on there uh, and the game over scenes and so on. I'm going to be uploading the combat challenges and things for Arkham Asylum uh, quite soon as well, but bear in mind, I'm uploading uh, videos for my channel, this one, my main one, and also for that channel as well. Uh, so I have to do two at once, which um, yeah, it's not easy, let's just put it that way. Also, uploading speed at the moment is not the best where I'm living. Um, for some reason, it's gone down quite a reasonable amount recently, but I still get the videos up, obviously, but it's gone down quite a bit. Um, so it does affect how quickly I can put up videos and I'm sure most other people will appreciate that, in particular YouTubers. <laughs> um, but yes, I will try and get as many videos up on the Arkham channel as I possibly can uh, and I'll do them as quickly as I possibly can as well. But hopefully the content that's on there at the moment will keep everybody happy and um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, appreciate the stuff that will go on to that channel. Like I said, it's going to grow over time, and um, I'm sure it will become a lot bigger very soon. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry if I went and on quite a long time about the Arkham channel. It's just I wanted to make sure that people knew about it and uh, actually got it out there for people to hear because um, it's not that well known at the moment, obviously. <laughs> so I just thought I'd make sure that people know about it. Anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot from it. I will see you probably in the next bow tutorial. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you then.